What's up, Pineapples? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have my March favorites. Now I will say it was a little bit hard for me to gather my items because I noticed I have a ton of Amazon stuff as well. Have you guys been ordering from Amazon like crazy? Because I definitely have. Now I do have a lot of things that are not from Amazon, but there are a ton of things that are from Amazon. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna show majority of my beauty favorites that I loved for the month. And then since they are my favorites as well, I'm gonna do a separate video of Amazon favorites. Um, I probably only have two in here, but I wanna make sure I kind of include them because they are really great favorites right now. So they're gonna be in both videos, but yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. Also, I hope you guys are safe and thank you for coming to my channel. Let's have a good time. Let's have some laughs. Now let's get into it. Whoop. Lots of nails have been looking ratch. I did a video showing how I fix fills. Um, you know, if your nails are growing out, if you guys still have a couple, or I don't know if you have a couple, <laughs> oh gosh, I know there's some people with a couple nails left, but if you happen to be someone who still has a full set, go check out my previous video. But I ended up taking off my powder, you guys. I did my hack, it worked out, but then after I was like, whoa, my nails are getting so long, I kinda just wanted them just to be nice and free. One of the reasons why I wanted my nails nice and short is because since they're growing long, I cannot play my uke, and now that I have so much more time, I can play my uke. So I've been trying to pick this baby up and remember all like the little songs that I know. So yeah, those babies came off. So since they were looking bad, I gave myself a self manicure and this thing came in clutch. Now you guys already know, I've done my gel nails for like such a long time for probably over five years, I've had a lamp. I used to have like an old lamp from Sephora that used to be like from the OPI when they used to carry OPI nail polishes. Do you guys remember that? I went ahead and just tossed it because I noticed it kind of seemed very dim and sometimes my nails wouldn't really cure all the way. So I picked one up from Amazon. This is one of those twofers that I told you about, an Amazon thing. And I've already had this for, I don't know, maybe two months, I think. And this is like my favorite one. It's super fast and quick. I highly recommend investing in a gel kit. I know a lot of people are kind of like looking at their nails like, what the heck? So go order yourself one, learn, practice. It is so much fun too. And I wanted to show you my favorite top coat and base coat because I tried Gelish, I think it's good. I've tried OPI, I think it's good. But my favorite like creme de la creme is the CND Shellac. Now, this one is the original top coat and then the base coat. There's something about it that I think has like the longest lasting power and I can have my nails up to three weeks. Also, what I love is that it doesn't get like kind of ooey gooey and thick. If you guys have bought nail gel nail polishes before, it kind of gets like really thick sometimes. I don't know if it's because of the air going into the bottle or whatever, but this has not failed me. And this is what I have going on right now. I just have like little gems as well, like little stones and I have a little um, like nude Manny. And I'm gonna show you my favorite nude polishes as well. But this has already been on for about a week and a half and nothing has come off except my one little gem. And I actually saw it when I was going pee in the bathroom right before I started filming this video. But my favorite new nail polishes are the OPI Put It In Neutral. This is a great polish on its own if you just want a very simple like kind of sheer mani it's not opaque let me just say that it to be opaque you'd probably need like four like layers ain't nobody got time for that and it's gonna peel off so i love this like alone for a sheer mani or on top of other colors it kind of brings like this peachiness to my nail because i have this other new nail polish it's called do you take layaway one of my favorites but it's more of like a cool tone type of nude if you see that right there. And then when I top it off with put it in neutral, it gave me like this really beautiful kind of peachy mani. See how that's like more pinky? I do like OPI gel polishes. It's just for me, what really does it is the base and top coat. That's where I like really see the difference. So see how this one's like a little bit more like peachy and warm. This one's a little bit cool toned nude. So this one's a great topper on its own. Next up, this has been my savior. I don't know what's going on because I actually am drinking way more water than usual and I've been very happy with myself where my body is finally starting to really crave water and not like want to go grab a damn Truly. Oh, can I talk about the Trulies? I need to go get one. Hold on. <laughs> okay, you guys, I got it. So wait, let me talk about this lip color really quick because I'm like, put down the alcohol. <laughs> this lip color has been saving me the Fenty Beauty Fussy. If you guys haven't tried the gloss bombs, ooh, they are just, ugh, life. I have no color on except this shade. 
This came in like a little mini pack. I hope they still have it. If they don't, it was a holiday set. Oh, what the hell, Lizzie? Ugh. But if they happen to have like another little mini set or just get the full size, the fussy, oh, it is just so beautiful. I would probably recommend this one or the light pink one. I forgot what it's called, but ooh, bomb, those two. But no matter how cracked, how chapped, how just like, ugh, your, your lips look like if you've been just ramming them on concrete all day, they still make them look perfect. Now back to what I want to show you, the Truly. Now these Trulys are so freaking bomb, you guys. They're only 100 calories, so I personally never feel guilty. And they come in three different flavors. So the, the first box that I tried, they were berry. Berry is okay. Um, I used to like it at first. Now I don't even like drinking the berries, but the Tropical Box is probably my favorite. It comes with like pineapple, mango, kiwi passion fruit flavor. I forgot what the other one is. That box is probably my favorite, and I would probably recommend trying that one first. And now they came out with the lemonades. Now I do love the lemonades, but if you were to try it, like I said, try the Tropical first because at least you get like a variety of like flavors. You do get a variety of the lemonades, but they're like all lemonades. So there's original lemonade, black cherry, strawberry, mango. I love Truly Over White Claw, I'm gonna say it. I used to be so into White Claw because I just never had Truly. And now that I've had Truly, White Claw literally tastes like ass. Like it's been sitting out in the hot sun and then you drink it. That's what it's like after like one minute. It loses its flavor, it loses its carbonation. It's all about that Truly, baby. I didn't wanna like really throw <laughs> it up because I didn't want to drop it because this is my last one. But <laughs> I have another box. Like, this is my last lemonade. I'm dramatic. I got my Tropical on deck. A hard seltzer, 5% alcohol. You're not going to get wasted. Mentally, I'm just like, it's an adult beverage. I don't feel guilty. I'm not like getting drunk or wasted, you know? So I like that. Now, your girl's hands have been just a mess, like super, super dry. So I went on Bath and Body Works and I said, you know what? Let's see what kind of hand creams they have. I haven't gone like into Target. I haven't been to any stores. So I was like, let me just make an order from Bath and Body Works because for me, they usually ship really quick. So I picked up three of them and this is one of them. I have the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. These smell so good. I have one in my bed stand, one in this room, and one in my purse that I've been using, which I'm actually gonna show you what I've been using. And oh, it is so good. It's really nice and lightweight, and it's not greasy. You guys already know I have like a weird thing with lotions and if they feel too thick, gooey feeling, or if it's greasy, I don't like it. I like really nice thin lotions that are still gonna hydrate, but this has really helped my hands. My hands were so bad where they were legit chapped, ready to just like bleed. The extra hand washing, lots of sanitizer, all of that. And then that's where I come from. Hold on, I have like all my stuff spread. That's where I'm coming for my second Amazon product that I picked up, but I wanna add it in this. Had mask. So I picked up two different types. They're intensive repair gloves and now my hands are golden. Like I don't have any more cracking. I could use some lotion right now, not gonna lie, but all my cracking is dry. It was so bad. Like I honestly got kind of alarmed how my, my, how my hands looked because they were like starting to turn bright red. Okay, it's time to moisturize. Let's put on some Neospore and let's heal these babies because cracked skin is no fun. So I have the intensive repair gloves and then the hydrating gloves. Um, both of them are really good. Obviously this one has a little bit more like factors of healing and repair, but they're both really good. This is what they look like. I just wanted to try out both. And I did order these from Amazon. You just keep them on for 20 minutes. Uh, I probably kept mine on for about 30 minutes, literally until my, my hands like soaked it all up. I will say when I ordered these, this is around the time like a couple weeks ago when a lot of essential items had to be shipped out first, obviously, which is fine. Uh, but I got them and it did take probably like about two weeks, I believe, but maybe I feel like shipping is getting a little bit faster with Amazon because people are starting to already have the items that they hopefully need. So yeah, try these out. I'll link them down below. Next up, we got Bretman Rocks Setting Spray. Now this is a prep and setting spray as well, or it's a three in one. Preps, it sets and it refreshes. So that's what it does. This is probably like the first of an illuminating glow spray. I've tried the Tatcha one, the dewy set. That one just kind of makes it look like an oil slick and <laughs> not so cute, like a little bit too greasy. But this one is really, really good. It just adds like this perfect amount of glow. I also love just the packaging. This is really beautiful, but the product works. That's the main thing. 
and has a really nice soft coconut scent. Onto foundation. Now, I did not set my face, which is why I look extra glowy today. Not because of the spray, you guys already saw my skin, but I've been obsessed with the Physicians Formula Organic Wear. Now, I'll be very honest, your girl hasn't been wearing like foundation or getting all the way ready every single day, uh, but when I do, I'm wearing the, <laughs> but when I do, <laughs> like that one meme okay sorry I'm gonna like lose track again and I know what it's a dupe for now because every time I was wearing it I was like well, this reminds me of something it's the NARS oh come on radiant <laughs> the natural radiant long wear foundation to me these two are very very similar just texture wise how they feel how they apply very very thin the only thing is I don't really care for the packaging because it is a dropper so it's been kind of like when you get it and you can drop it but when you put it back in here let me give you an example it'll pour over the edge when you do that so it's like you want to set it right in the middle but it still is overflowing so I wish the package was honestly a pump I would really prefer that but this is so damn good very lightweight lasts a long time but has like a good full medium coverage this is what my face looks like after eight hours of wear I put it on like around 10 in the morning maybe 9 30 right now it's like around 6 6 30 so that many hours I don't know it looks very nice and glowy but I am I do see my oils definitely coming through but just the wear of it is amazing it's not breaking apart it makes my skin still look healthy yeah i am oily yeah i did add this but the point is that it just looks very just beautiful and natural especially when you first put it on and like set it bomb i definitely want to write this down in my notes because for me this is going to be a great dupe for a future dupe video now i wanted to show you the purse that i've been wearing and it is this right here and it is my Herschel fanny pack. I will say when I first got this, I went on a trip. I don't know if I got this for, I went, I forgot what trip I got this for, but I got it specifically for like when you're hiking and stuff. And it's really good because it gives you like a lot of leeway because I'm a size 14 and some fanny packs do not fit me or they are just too tight or they just kind of look wrong on me. This, what I love is that it gives you a lot of leeway. So definitely go try one out or kind of measure yourself and see the measurements online because obviously you just want to order online right now, but it is such a good fanny pack. And I love it because if I do have to go to the grocery store or maybe I have to go to the drugstore, I've been wearing this and I just put in my phone, my keys, my sanitizer hangs from there and I'm set. I don't have to hold my purse, put it in the cart. I think that's like a really good convenient purse to have. You can also wear it obviously against the chest. I never do that, I just put it around my waist. But just like right now, I've been wearing this so often. I also have a dusty pink one, but uh, I don't know, I've been wearing my black one a lot and it's just really handy and it's convenient. So you don't have to like have the whole entire like, let me touch my purse, let me touch this. You guys already know the deal right now. So this has been, ooh, like amazing. Now Derma E came out with some under eye vitamin C bright eyes hydrogel patches. I've already used them three times I believe and they're probably my favorite ones. They are these ones right here and they're very, very hydrating. And I'm a big time fan of Peter Thomas Roth ones, but these ones are so good. They're very, very hydrating. So there are these ones right here. I, I wore them actually in a vlog on my vlog channel, What Will Lizzie Vlog? And there are these ones right here, favorite ones that I have tried so far. I noticed my Peter Thomas Roth, whenever I wear them, they feel hydrating, but for some reason, there's just so much goodness in this bottle where it's like, wow, my, it's almost like they're slipping around, but it's, it doesn't bother me because I rather have like a lot of good essence on that pad than have it kind of dry out after like seven minutes or so. Like these like stayed like wet for probably like about, I would say 20 minutes and that's really good. So if you guys are looking for some new under eye patches, there's a vitamin C one from Derma E. You guys, I am so happy to finally have a eyeliner that I can just stop buying the Kat Von D one. Why I already stopped buying that one and getting the NYX one. I have the NYX, what is this called? Epic Ink Liner. This one's in black. I used it in my last tutorial. Go watch that video. I had so much fun making jokes, having fun. So thank you guys so much for saying that you like were rewatching parts and you love, you're laughing so much. And that's what I want you guys to feel. I want you guys to feel happy and have a good time whenever you come on your, uh, whenever you come on your channel. <laughs> Whenever you come on my channel, well, it's our channel because obviously you guys, it's an A and B kind of situation. So 
Don't see yourself out, see yourself in. You guys know I'm cheesy. <laughs> Last video, I showed you guys the Epic Ink Liner. Yes, it is my favorite. It's totally replacing my Kat Von D. It is way more affordable. I love how dark and pigmented this is. I still get an amazing flick of my wing. You guys need this and it is waterproof. I was running like all around the house, cleaning and do organizing, doing all this stuff. I have an organizational video coming and I'm so excited to show you guys because the items I got, whew, they have saved my closet, saved my sunglasses, like, ugh, it is amazing. Really happy that, I mean, it sucks that I'm like late on the train. Am I late on the train? Uh, choo choo. <laughs> yeah, that thing already went going by, but now I have my ticket. Cha ching. <laughs> Oh gosh. Next up, I wanna show you something that I just started doing and I don't know why I never really did it. I started shaving my face. <laughs> During this time, you're discovering all sorts of new shit, okay? <laughs> so this obviously isn't new, but it is something that I finally started to feel intrigued to try. So I have these Revlon little razors and they sent it to me in PR and I saw it and I was like, uh, I'm not one where I really shave my face. I'm not like a super hairy person. People think I shave my arms, but I don't. I've just never been that hairy at all. So I said, you know what? Let me see if I really see a difference. So many people love shaving their face. Let's give this a go. What's the worst that can happen? Just don't do that whole like line right there because I've been seeing so many TikTok videos where girls like F up the line right on their brow. That's scary. But I started using it and just like getting like the little peach fuzz like in this area right here. And I don't know if you guys have noticed anything, <laughs> is my little sideburns that I had right here. Can you guys tell? Maybe you can't tell, but I definitely could. So now I kind of just swooped it back and I would just get like the hairs that are right here. Like I still have like a little right here and I just go like that and they just take them away. And then I took away my sideburns right here and I was like, damn, that looks way cleaner. Like it just looks so much better than having this hair just like hanging all the way down. I didn't take it all off because I'm not trying to take off, you know, everything. So I did leave that, but this hair I always scoot up, but I'm talking about all the hairs that kind of just like lingered down below. It comes in a two pack, but it has saved me. So your girl don't have sideburns anymore. Also, people keep asking me about my Adidas nude shoes. I keep getting DMs and stuff saying, what's that nude shoe that you showed in your video? I forgot which video. So here, I am showing it again. Um, I'll link it down below. Hopefully they still have it. They actually had a sale on them and I just loved like, I was like, love. I just love like the little iridescent on the shoe right there. And this is the NMD. If you guys have ever heard of that um, style, it is NMD. So yeah, that has been like one of my favorite shoes. Oh, and then the last item I wanna say that I really am enjoying are the Glamorous White uh, Crest White Strips. Now I did do a video showing you how I'm wearing them, how I take them off, I reveal. Right here, you guys can go check out that video. I've honestly only used it four times and it's already so good. I'm like, so it comes with 16 treatments. So obviously I still have 12 more, but I don't know. I really am enjoying like the results that I have right now. I'm gonna continue to use them though. I just wanna see like the full effects, but so far it is definitely good. It, it left me a little bit sensitive the next day, like every single time, but not a lot. I tried the sensitive ones and it honestly feels like the same thing, except I feel like the glamorous white has worked a little bit faster. So yeah, I recommend these. These aren't torture to your mouth. I am still getting some sensitivity. So let me just say that I always do no matter what I use, you know, but these ones are like really, really nice. All right, guys, well, that is it for my March favorites. I'll link everything down below. Don't forget, I am gonna do a separate Amazon video. The only repeats will be the nail lamp and the hand mask, and that is it. But other than that, everything else will be Amazon favorites because like I said, your girl has been on Amazon way too long. All right, final bowls, I'm gonna get going. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you beautiful. It's a lot of pointing today. I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. <laughs> Mwah. Here we go, it's all about you, it's all about me, it's all about what we do Making art, you and me, trying to find something to believe